Well, uh, thank you very much. My name is uh, Paul Linders. I'm one of the founders of uh, Vital Fluid. And Vital Fluid is a company specialized in plasma technology. We develop applications of plasma activated water and we also develop the equipment to produce plasma activated water. And here you see lightning striking on water. And this is what it's all about within our company, Vital Fluid. And I can assure you, there where the lightning hits the water, a lot of plasma activated water is produced. And, and when lightning strikes and it rains, it actually rains plasma activated water. It's one of nature's way to fixate nitrogen and lightning strikes more than 8 million times a day. So more than 10% of all nitrogen that is fixated on earth is done by, uh, by lightning. And it is exactly this process which we have captured in our equipment, in a safe manner of course, and which we can steer on and which we can control. And the mission of our company, Vital Fluid, is to create circular food production by offering alternatives for the existing agrochemicals. Well, in our process, we only make use of water, air and electricity. And we use electricity to bring air, just ambient air, into the plasma phase. And ambient air consists out of 20% of oxygen and 80% of nitrogen. And we make them reactive by electrical energy. We, uh, we, we make electrical arcs through air. And when you do that, the, the, the oxygen and the nitrogen in the air, they become reactive. They get a charge. And while they're having that charge, they like to go into the water. And when these reactive particles go into the water, the water obtains quite unique uh, temporary cleaning and disinfecting properties. So you can, for instance, spray this, uh, this activated water on crops, and you can use it, for instance, to, uh, to treat plant diseases. Well, if you leave the water to rest for a while, let's say uh, for, for half an hour, then all what remains, all what remains is water with an elevated concentration of nitrate. And as you all know, nitrate is one of the most important fertilizers for plants and crops to grow. Well, as I already told you, when you treat water with, with, uh, with a plasma, and you produce plasma activated water, there are a lot of effects uh, of this plasma activated water and also the process. Because when you run water through our systems, well, the water is thoroughly disinfected and is cleaned because it's treated with, uh, with plasma. And our technology can also be used to regulate uh, the pH because we, use, we reproduce nitrate and that nitrate is an acid. So you can lower the pH with that, for instance, in your feeding water. And by adding, by making the water uh, a little bit uh, acid, you can also uh, increase the solubility of uh, carbonate. So you have, a, you have less precipitation. We also use this water. We have done a lot of testing just by spraying this water on crops to see if it can improve plant health, if it can reduce plant diseases. And well, we see very positive results of that. And a very important advantage of plasma activated water, it doesn't leave any residues. All the residues that remain is nitrate. And nitrate is of course a very important fertilizer and it's a foliar, it's a leaf fertilizer. So, the process also adds extra uh, oxygen into the water, which is also beneficial for plants and crops to grow. And well, one of the main applications we are working on within our, com within our company is dissolve uh, nitrogen into water. We take nitrogen directly out of the air, we break it down with plasma and then dissolve it into water to, so it can be used as, an, uh, as a fertilizer, as a natural fertilizer. Well, each of these effects require a different approach of activating the water. So, within our company, we focus on three main applications. We have, we have started uh, research a couple of years ago to treat um, uh, seeds, to treat seeds with plasma activated water, because seeds need to be clean 
and it's not allowed that there are any pathogens on it. Uh, and well, up to now, the, the seed companies have been using chemicals and pesticides to treat these seeds. Uh, but due to legislation, all these, uh, all these chemicals are uh, a bit reduced and uh, the, yeah, they are not allowed to be used anymore. So, we see very positive results of seed treatment with plasma activated water. And we are working with uh, the larger seed companies uh, in the world to, uh, yeah, to develop this application. Our main focus is currently on nitrogen fixation. As I, as I already mentioned, we, we can take the nitrogen out of the ambient air and dissolve it into the water and use that as, uh, as feed water, for instance, in drip irrigations or in, uh, in vertical farms. Uh, and also in uh, yeah, horticulture companies, in greenhouses, all those cases where you use liquid fertilizer. And basically we, we produce uh, yeah, nitrate. Um, yeah. Future applications which we are working on uh, is uh, the combination of leaf fertilization, so for foliar fertilization in combination with plant health, because then you spray the plasma activated water on the crops, it does its jobs, it increases the plant health, uh, the, the pathogens and fungi, for instance, are getting reduced. And what is left, the only residue of it is, of course, uh, yeah, nitrogen, and that's a perfect leaf fertilizer. Well, I want to stress that this is, this is a very sustainable uh, solution. It's, it's, it's copied out of nature. It's a, it's a nature-based uh, solution, and, and we only make use of the water, air, and electricity. And well, on, on all, every farm has water already. They are already using water. Air is everywhere, and you only need, uh, need electricity. And when the electricity comes from renewables, well, you also have zero uh, CO3, CO2 production. So, and there are no contaminants other than the nitrate, which is left when the product is, 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 has, has done its job. Well, as mentioned, we are working with, with our company on the, the fixation of nitrogen. We call it uh, natural nitrogen. And uh, this offers the, the, the possibility to produce your nitrogen fertilizer on farm without any other inputs than air and electricity. And we only put in the water what the plant needs. So it's not a very concentrated uh, uh, fertilizer solution. No, it's, it's quite low, by the way. So up to 0.1% uh, of uh, nitrate is the highest concentration that we supply to plants. So we, we are not a fertilizer company. We don't sell any fertilizers. We only sell equipment that can produce uh, the fertilizer in situ on the spot where it's needed. And when you run it on, on, uh, on renewables, then, then, then you have a very low carbon footprint. This technology uh, offers the possibility for precision uh, feeding, for precision agriculture, because you can very, uh, uh, yeah, exactly put in the water what is needed for the plants to grow. You can control the pH with it. And, uh, well, it allows for, for, for full circulation of your irrigation water. It, uh, it doesn't block any drippers because we don't put in any salts. So we only put in the nitrate. At this moment, we have several tests running. Uh, we have been granted an, uh, an, uh, um, a European uh, subsidy uh, SME uh, uh, grant. And uh, at the moment, at the corner here, that's about 100 meters away, we are uh, um, doing a demonstration of USDA organic tomato cultivation. And uh, we see very good results there. Uh, the other test, which is running at the um, vertical farm in Blijswijk, no, sorry, the, the vertical farm in, uh, in Venlo. Uh, we are doing their tests with uh, lettuce, and we're growing lettuce on, uh, in the vertical farm. And we see very, very good results with this, uh, with, with this test we are running. And, um, well, with some other companies, we are doing uh, tests in cucumber cultivation. We're also doing tests on herbs and some other crops. And, uh, well, as I mentioned, it's, the results are very good. Uh, very promising and uh, 
furthermore, yeah, we, we are already selling these systems uh, uh, in, the, in the USA for organic uh, cultivation. We have been scaling up this plasma technology process uh, for many, many years now. And the development of this technology has, has, has become possible due to the uh, developments of new electrical circuits that have, that have been used in the car industry and also in, in the solar and wind uh, uh, in industry. Because in those uh, applications, you need high voltages. And also within our technology, we need high voltage to create these electrical arcs and to create these, 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 this plasma to bring it into contact with water. Well, we have been scaling up this process and we can now, with our current systems, we can, we can produce approximately 50 moles of nitrate per hour. 50 moles is approximately one kilogram of nitrate. And that can supply uh, one hectare of a uh, horticulture company with, uh, with nitrate. If you want larger amounts of, uh, of uh, uh, nitrate, then you place these systems modular and uh, so you can produce larger amount. Here you see our disinfection uh, systems. Um, we have a small scale system uh, which we call Agir. It's a one kilowatt system. It can produce 15 liters of uh, plasma activated water per hour. And we completely com control the process and we do some inline measurements. We measure with UV, UV vis, we measure pH and EC value. So we control what is coming out of the machine. We have a larger system which contains uh, six Haki, of, uh, sorry, six uh, Agria systems, and uh, that system can produce up, up to 100 liters of plasma activated water per hour. Plasma activated water which comes out of these machines is uh, very, yeah, it's disinfected, so you can use it for, for disinfection purposes. And here you see our fryer system. These, uh, these fryer systems, we also call it lightning in a box because we create lightning in a box and uh, which then fixates the nitrogen. These systems can uh, fixate up to 50 moles of nitrate per hour, which can be used uh, for one hectare of, uh, of horticulture greenhouse uh, uh, cultivation. So these are also the systems that, are, yeah, that can be used, for instance, in, in vertical farm systems. Uh, we are talking with some, some, some uh, uh, vertical farm companies to see if we can uh, start up some, uh, to do some, some testing and to see if it can fit in their, uh, in their systems. Well, that was my presentation. And if you have any question, Please let me know. Thank you. Thank you very much.